Hi, this is Les Nelson. Yesterday we had a great squirrel hunting opener and I'm back in my kitchen. I'm going to prepare a meal for some friends that are coming over in about 40 minutes. I have four squirrels and I have uh, some friends coming over, four friends coming over. And today I'm going to be making a recipe that's a fried squirrel recipe. Now it's important to understand that if you just simply fry squirrel, it's going to be tough. Uh, what I did yesterday is I prepared the squirrel to be fried and then I put it in the fridge. Um, yesterday I cut up all the squirrel pieces that I wanted to keep and then I, in a stock pot I put a cup of vinegar and a gallon of water and I cut up a, 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 an onion and uh, uh, several pieces of celery and I threw in some carrots uh, that I uh, cut up and I boiled this for 15 minutes. And after it had boiled, the uh, vinegar pulled out the, uh, the flavors of the vegetables after it had boiled for 15 minutes. And then I put my squirrel pieces in it and I, I simmered those for 20 minutes. And then I took them out, put them in a bowl, covered it and put it in the refrigerator. So that's what I've done to prepare the meat to make it tender. Now, coming up in a few minutes, I'm going to dredge this in a, a flour salt mixture. And then I'm going to dip it in a, uh, an egg milk um, um, wash and then I'm going to dip it in a, you're not going to believe this, pork rinds, which that's obviously a guy meal. I'm going to mix it in a pork rind and, and a flour and salt mixture and I'm going to fry it in this deep fryer. This is, um, it calls for lard. Uh, I have uh, 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 coconut oil and peanut oil that I'm going to make a mixture. I'm going to use a cup and a half of coconut oil and a cup and a half of, uh, of peanut oil. I'm going to get that hot and then I'm going to dip those and I'm going to deep fry that uh, squirrel in this pan right here. In this pan, I'm going to make a red eye gravy. You don't have to do anything as fancy as red eye, but I'm going to make a red eye gravy here. And then what I'm going to start right now is if you don't have a rice cooker, I recommend that you get one. Uh, if you're going to have a starch with your meal, um, my, I've got a, uh, I use just a, a mug and I dipped one cup of rice, rice that I used, cup of rice, I sprinkled salt in and I put about a, uh, two tablespoons of butter in it and now I'm going to pour in twice as much water as I use rice. So if you use a mug or if you use a cup, um, whatever you dip out your rice, dip, have two, two of that for your water and I'm going to go ahead and start the rice cooker. And the cool thing about rice cookers is they make the rice perfect every time. So I can leave this and I can work on my other, um, my other pieces of my meal today. So we're going to have rice for our starch. We're going to have the fried squirrel. I also have, and I'll show you this, along with my squirrel and my rice, uh, which is my starch and then my protein, I've also got field peas and snaps. Now, I have another channel called Live Well for Less, and I got these at a, at a, at a cool uh, grocery discount store. Um, but these are very southern. They're also seasoned, so you don't have to spend a lot of time with everything you're making. And then I'm going to have biscuits for my red-eye gravy, and I'm going to good old Bisquick. I also got that. At, it was a bent and dent, and I got that out at the bent and dent. So I'm going to use Bisquick. Bisquick. I'm going to make some biscuits put those in the oven. I've already preheated the oven so I'm going to make my biscuits and get those in the oven. My rice is um, making. Uh, I've got the peas and uh, now I'm going to get to work on the squirrel. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the oil going so we'll pick up after we get the oil going and I get my biscuits made. So. So I've got um, biscuits I'm going to put in the oven right now and they'll be done in about 10 minutes which is a while before my um, guests are right, but it won't matter if they're um, it won't matter if they're cool or not because I've got gravy that we're going to put over them and it will be hot. So that will be enough biscuits for everybody, won't it? Now I'm going to season this flour for dredging the uh, squirrel in, and I've got three cups of flour here. And this is all by taste. This is garlic powder. Put a little bit of that in. We're just going to go by old school here. This is onion powder. All right. So now I'm going to put uh, some paprika. And I will put 
put some salt. And also, I'm going to grind a little bit of pepper in this. Now, my squirrel, I had pepper and salt on it, and it sat with um, the pieces sat with pepper and salt on them for a while before I even cooked it. So this should, I don't want it to be too spicy. pieces of uh, squirrel. Don't want that vegetable. Those vegetables were all supposed to be thrown away. That was like a... And I'm going to dredge all of these in this base and put it on this pan. Now I have other videos on how, how to cut your squirrel up. So Watch my other videos if you want to learn how to do that. Now this is going to be really important to have it come off right as my guests are ready to eat because we do not want the meat to get cold while we're um, ready for the meal or getting ready for the meal. So this is the this won't take very long to fry because it's already been pre-cooked. I've got three eggs, and I'm going to do two cups of milk. Now I'm going to—I use skim milk to drink, so I'm going to add some half and half. So I'm going to use some half and half and fill that one up. So I'm going to do two cups of milk. For those of you who are not familiar, our local one of our local stores uses milk in a bag, which is kind of cool because it's less expensive. And then I'm going to use uh, cayenne pepper, I mean uh, Tabasco sauce, a little bit of that, and a little bit of salt, and that's going to be my wash for my squirrel. All right, so I'm going to dip my squirrel pieces in this, and then over here, I'm going to put two cups. And this is, of all things, as I mentioned, pork rinds. So we've crushed these, and I'm going to put two cups of this into what was left of my flour mix. So there's one. Let's see if we can get a second cup. Oop, losing. And that's about two. And I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to use the equivalent of about three or four slices of bacon to, to uh, get a bacon rendered base on the uh, bottom of this pan and then we're going to make our red eye gravy in that pan. So I'm going to cut this up. So now I've added in my flour and I'm going to cook this for about five more minutes with my bacon. Then I have a third cup of, this is RC Cola, um, because I'm from the South. I've got, this is supposed to be three quarters of a cup of black coffee, but there's not full three quarters because Christine drank too much this morning. This is one and a quarter cups of beef broth, and I'm going to use two tablespoons of molasses to make this um, red eye gravy, and that'll go over the biscuits. This is heating now, and I'm going to, while this is continuing to cook, I'm going to start laying in my squirrel pieces and we'll see how it all turns out. All right, here we go. spoon on my molasses. Just make sure there's enough in there. Start that around. Dip them in the wash. Back. 
batter. Now my favorite way to make squirrel is squirrel fricassee, but we've got to try a new thing. So. See what we got here. All right, there it is. First piece. Let's see what we end up with. Now, again, this was oil to make it tender, and just being fried for a couple of minutes here, so until it's crispy brown. And hopefully, everybody will enjoy this. And if they don't, they can get their money back. After I get these out, I'm going to put another few pieces in because I had some left over. Other so. That's really good. Turn this off so I don't burn it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, my friend Paul and Joan Reamer. They've come over to um, to live life on the edge by eating squirrel that I've prepared. So we're gonna have a great meal together. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna take time before we start to give God thanks for all of His great provisions. And please join us again for Field of Feast. <clears throat> Father, thank you for the love that you've expressed to us through all of your bountiful blessings. We thank you, Lord God, for the provisions of this day. We ask you, Lord, that you uh, strengthen us with this food and may our fellowship be sweet as we consider um, all that you have given us. Uh, we give you praise and uh, thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.